So then the last one on our list today is, yeah, t come on in, come on in, sir, nice and tight here, okay? Uh, the last l number one on our list here on our top 10 places to go in your first ever Passport Bro expedition, and number one is Thailand, okay? Now, a lot of people might think like Thailand is just lady boys and that's all it, that's good for. That's again, that's just uneducated people talking about stuff that they just don't know about. Thailand is a very rich culture. And in addition to that, right now, I don't know if you guys know about a streamer named Ice Poseidon. But right now, Ice Poseidon is literally in uh, custody of the authorities there because he was doing some really just derogatory, like he was putting on like lingerie and stuff. And he was absolutely just being a fool. And it was just very disgraceful to Thai culture. And the woman who owned the restaurant came in there, told everybody, I need your passports. I need to give them your names. And you're all going to the police station. And now they're in custody. Thailand does not fuck around. Um, but the good news is, if you're respectful of these cultures, and it's so funny because the number one people that are always get in trouble is like either degenerate idiot American guys or Western women. Like there's a woman right now who just got arrested um, because she was screaming in Saudi Arabia and now she's in, uh, not Saudi Arabia, sorry, she was in Dubai. She was yelling and just acting a fool and now she's in jail. So you really have to understand that um, that American entitlement, that Western entitlement, and mainly I'm just talking to my Americans um, and some Australian women because they're wild too, um, that you can't just be going to these cultures and just acting a goddamn fool and think there's not going to be any repercussions, okay? If you start a fight with the locals in Thailand, you're going to lose, and then you're going to end up in jail. It's not a joke. And, you know, Thailand recently legalized marijuana as well for you guys that like to smoke. You can go down there and get amazing uh, Thai Muay Thai training. I'm going to be shooting some vlogs and going down to these Muay Thai centers. Some of the guys from my uh, high-level community are going to be actually doing Muay Thai training with me. And so all of this stuff and more is available, and it's very, very, very cheap. I just booked an Airbnb for 18 days, and I paid a lot, and it was only 1500 bucks. Okay, and this is like a super nice condo, pool, so many amazing things out there. The food in Thailand is cheap. I actually went to Thailand, and I did some vlogs back in the day as well. This is going to be my first time returning to Thailand in 10 years. Dave lived in Thailand for multiple years, and he's extremely, extremely well-versed understanding the ins and outs in Thai culture. In addition to that, you guys who know Nikki was on his channel. Nikki is a Thai woman, beautiful. I mean, dude, stunning amount of gorgeous women out there that have conservative values. They're not going to cheat on you and like try to throw you in jail or anything like that. When you, honestly, when you come abroad, okay, and when you start dating and living in these cultures, the sheer amount of abundance of women that's available to you is just, it's such a peace of mind because you just know, like, anytime you go outside, there's just gorgeous women everywhere. Like, every city I've been to in Japan, they're just gorgeous women everywhere. Here in the Philippines, too, when I was walking around Ayala Mall today, I just saw a bunch of beautiful women, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I was so shocked. Really? Yeah, every time, every time, you know, it's like I'm waiting to like go outside and not see a pretty girl. Mm 